Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, February 19, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. You're welcome to join. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at S&P 500. And this has been a day of, uh, well, back and forward. We did we did basically plunge all the way down to the 20 exponential moving average and then found quite a lot of support there. And then we rallied. We're trading at 3,913 at this point. Uh, 4,000 is the target. So it's right up around this area here. So not that far away. So 20 exponential moving average and the downtrend and the trend line here is acting as major support. You can all see here when we got close to the middle of the Bollinger Band, which is right at this line, and that's also where we pulled back. However, I think that we're just going to see quite a lot of noise around this area. The reason why I say that is because our RSI number for the S&P 500 is fairly high. It's a 69, so it's so it's on the edge of being overbought still. So getting a massive rally when your RSI is this high, that is uh, fairly unlikely. If you also look at other indicators, for example, the MACD is turning around. It's probably going to cross the signal line. And we're just going to see uh, a few days where probably we're just going to uh, buy some time or momentum before we go to 4,000. So we could stick around this area for some time. We can also see that the stochastic is very bearish at this point. RSI is uh, slowly going towards uh, uh, well momentum to the downside, and so is the CCI. So if we break below this um, 20 exponential moving average, then we'll go to the 40 at 3,800, give or take, and then to the 50 at 3,780. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So as you can see, we also fell towards the 20 exponential and then rallied. And the same thing is for the Dow Jones and as the S&P. The RSI is fairly high. And to get a massive rally when your RSI is this high, that is fairly uh, improbable at this, uh, I, I would say. I would rather see this pull back towards the middle of the bullish band, around 31,000, and then rally towards 32,000 or 32,500. Get this RSI down to around 50 or even lower than that, then there is a much more room to the upside. At this point, to buy it here just seems like a massive risk because uh, there is more probability that will basically break down than we will rally. If you look at the uh, uh, stochastic as well, it is turning around. The MACD is turning around, the CCI is turning around. So if we break the 50, the 20 exponential moving average or the middle of, uh, of the Bollinger Band here, we could break towards the 40, which is at 30,800, give or take, and then the 50 right underneath. But still, we are in uptrend, and these pullbacks towards the 20 or the 50 are major buying opportunities at this, uh, at this stage. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So the Nasdaq did fall significantly further than the uh, the other two indices, um, but this is looking better. And the reason why I say that is because the RSI is not that high. We may see this stay here for a while. If we may manage to break the 20 exponential, it could open the door to the 40 exponential moving average down here at 13,200. It could be. It's not very likely at this point. Uh, usually the stochastic doesn't fall that far. It doesn't really fall all the way down to the red area here. It falls around this area, around 50, and then turns around to the upside. So if we get another day of choppiness down here, then we could see a run towards 14,000 and probably also 15,000. That is probably going to be the end. in the end of uh, March. We will uh, can just scroll this back here. If we extend, we can say that this continues, then 15,000 is up here. So this channel basically has to double in order for us to get to 15,000. So it's going to be a long stretch. There is going to be basically pullbacks al along the way, and we may also see uh, pullbacks like this. So this consolidation here 
basically says that we'll go to 14,000 um, from the beginning of this breakout. So I've set my mark to 15,000. It is very, it's a, basically a stretch, but that is where I think this will go at least at the end of March. But still, there's going to be plenty of pullbacks along this way, as we have seen basically here, here, here. It's not going to just completely explode to the upside. But that's also much better in my view, because parabolical moves like what we saw, for example, here, just lead to massive falls of, of this was a fall of roughly roughly 12% to the downside, instead of you having 2, 3, 4% to the downside, which is uh, fairly easier to trade compared to this massive volatility here. But at this point, uh, we are at the 20 exponential moving average. Uh, it is acting as major support. And um, as long as that is the case, it is going to continue to go up. 14,000, it's a short-term target. 15,000 is long-term target for, for the, uh, the NASDAQ. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see a newest video. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.